Hey, so what is going on there, agents? My name is Pwn. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button. That way you can fast travel back here anytime you'd like. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the incursions, how to build, how to prepare for them. And this may not be the perfect build, but this is what I'm doing to prepare myself for when April 12th hits. And these are the guidelines I'd recommend my friends to follow. I've spent a lot of time researching this, trying to build the ultimate way, because necessarily having a great Dark Zone build does not mean it's going to translate well over to incursions. So we're going to dive straight into this. Before we go any further, though, if you're needing people to play with, you want to talk about builds, ask questions, there's a Facebook page down in the description of this video below where you can meet people, hang out with, and build your very own incursion team if you're lacking friends to play this game with. Now, we're going to start with the equipped gear. We're going to start with the body armor. I'll also explain what I would like to find talent-wise on guns and even the skills that you're going to want to rock out. So, on here, on the body armor, the three major attributes that you can have, and the most important ones, are going to be armor, and it can roll up to 575, which is a huge chunk of... Of mitigation right there protection from elites which scales on top of that and that's a beautiful perk to have and a large percentage that you can get from the chest piece and i would recommend exotic damage resilience and the reason for this if you do not know and though it's not completely been defined by the dev team for my research it roughly translates to damage that you receive that is not caused by melee or by bullets so we're talking grenades and explosions we're talking you know, even as far as seeker mines and stuff like that, even actual skills. And that's pretty sweet, to be honest, because I don't know if you saw the live stream. There were a whole lot of grenades being thrown around. And it can roll on, I believe, three pieces of armor. The knee pads, the mask, and the chest piece. And I recommend you taking it on at least two of the three. You determine which one you want it on. I personally recommend having it on the body armor and the knee pads and saving the mask for crit hit chance. And I'll explain why here in a minute. But that covers most of that. And obviously, the minor attribute you're going to be looking for is ammo capacity. That's absolutely phenomenal, especially when you're dealing with a lot of PvE. That ammo is going to make a difference. So we're going to scroll on over to the mask. Now, this is where things get a little interesting. So <laughs> looking at this thing, you can see that I have the exotic damage resilience. I would honestly prefer crit hit chance right there. And the reason for this is there is a nice talent that goes alongside of a weapon that is called self-preserved and if you start critting a lot you're going to start getting a lot of your health back it's kind of lifesteal if you will so though the crit hit chance may not make you super strong it does go well with that perk and will allow you to regenerate health which will keep you in the fight and maybe even save your ass occasionally inside of the incursion so that's why i think that scales well together now the minor attribute and this is quite important is the enemy armor damage this only rolls on a couple of the items but for a minor it's truly important to how much damage you can deal to these bad guys and that's crucial so we're going to talk about the pads. Now the knee pads are one of the best things that you can have for incursions because there's tons of different customizations and it's one of the ways that you can actually build resistances, which is huge because there are three minor attributes and two majors, allowing you to have a lot of customization on this one piece of armor. Now the major attributes, a lot of these are going to come up to preference. Protection from elites is phenomenal. It wouldn't be terrible if you rolled armor either. Even though it's a low value, it will still contribute to your survivability. Then you have damage to elites. You could keep that on there if you want. That's not terrible at all either. But in my opinion, in incursions, it's all about surviving. So I would sacrifice that for some more exotic damage resilience. And that just comes down to your comfort of play. Do you think you're not going to get hit by nades a lot? Do you not think you're going to be dealing with tons of different things? That's your call. As for the minor attributes, I rolled these perfect in my opinion. I want both burn resistance and shock resistance because out of all of the things and all the grenades and all the kinds of crowd control that can hit me, those are the two that hurt the most. And I'm glad that I rolled nice amounts of resistance on both of those, not to mention the enemy armor damage was maxed at 9%. And that's phenomenal. That's a lot of damage to deal. So that's why the knee pads are one of the most instrumental pieces for building for incursion. Next piece up, we have the backpack. Now, this thing is interesting because, you know, there's some nice talents on it. There's some nice things to go for, but you get a pretty hefty amount of armor on this thing which is great and it also has room for a minor attribute but i think there's only a couple of them available i think you have bleed and i think the other one that would be worth a damn would be burn i think burn's the only other one that can roll on it that's that's worthy i think there may be disrupt or something but that's what you have you also have a couple skill attributes on top of it so you can get some additional healing benefits or pulse critical hit damage which makes it pretty valuable as well when you're dealing with those team fights 
As for the gloves, now you're going to want to roll these like you would probably roll them inside of the Dark Zone. Obviously, sacrificing SMG damage or something like that to damage to elites. That way it impacts both of the guns you're using because you're probably going to go with an SMG and Marksman or an SMG and AR build. And the damage to elites will definitely outweigh any SMG or Marksman damage you have rolled on top of this. And you also get major damage out of the crit hit damage and crit hit chance. So you're going to want to roll these just like you're seeing right here on your screen. And try to stack as high as you can. And Savage will come in handy as well well as the talent on the gloves now down here to the last one right here we have the holster now i'm a big fan of the armor on this because it's a pretty lofty amount right there that's pretty high armor it's going to allow you to survive quite a bit there's a decent skill attribute that can be on it and i would definitely recommend you guys to have the trifecta there you're going to want to make sure it rolls firearms stamina and electronics don't sacrifice any of them as for the talent that talent looks pretty sweet nimble Heal 2% of max health for every 1 meter run in cover to cover during combat. You may not cover to cover a lot in the dark zone or just running routes, but you may find yourself doing a lot more inside of incursions, so keep that in mind. As for talents on your weapon, I wish I could show you the AUG-31 that I had on my PlayStation account, but the two perks, they're going to really, really help you a lot during this incursion, and though it may not be pure damage built, they're going to be phenomenal for your SMG. You're going to want to look for self-preserved, which grants you 3% of damage dealt on critical hits, and you're going to do it a lot with SMGs, especially if people are running the pulse. It's going to keep you healed up and you're going to be able to fight longer and fight more and survive better. And that's a great perk. It's one of the most underestimated, if not the most underestimated talent in the game. And also destructive. Destructive is something you may not normally roll, but it is a phenomenal perk to have inside of PvE. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about the skills and abilities that you can have on top of this thing. Now, one thing that I would recommend you guys to start looking for in terms of actual skills is the support station with the mod life support on it. This thing is great. Whether or not you're behind cover and you drop it for yourself, if you get picked, you actually can revive yourself. Reviving is extremely important because if you did not know, inside incursions, the moment your entire team wipes, you have to start all over from scratch. There are no checkpoints. You get one go at it, and if you wipe, it's over. So I would recommend, if not all of you to run it, at least three of you to run the support station with the life support. You can throw it from a distance. You can keep you guys healed up while you're behind cover, not to mention capable of reviving even your own self with these things. So it's really cool. As for the signature skills, I'd recommend at least three of you guys to run Survivor Link. Maybe two. But you know exactly how much damage you can absorb. You know exactly how important this is inside of the Dark Zone and challenge missions. That's going to roughly translate to how valuable it is inside of incursions, which will be harder. So two to three people running this is key. I would recommend having at least one person ru running Recovery Link. I would say skip Tactical, even though there's lots of damage. It's more about surviving the fight and doing damage over time than actually pumping out one quick burst or chunk versus any sort of enemies knowing especially seeing as how the apc is not really damaged by bullets you have certain ways to drop it inside the incursion so recovery link having one guy playing passive or sitting in the back is a smart call making sure he's always staying alive and if any of you guys get picked by a grenade or something he can revive you and that's just a good safety net now as for the talents if you have not done so prioritize getting your medical wing to 100 percent and you unlock all four slots i have yet to do that over here but when i have it undone it will be great because four talents are better than three. Now, if you're dealing with marksmen, one is none is a phenomenal perk. It's going to allow you to stay in the fight. You can continuously deal damage over and over and over again and suppress the enemy. It's going to be amazing. Otherwise, I would say stick to most of the medical things. You're going to find triage is a great thing, especially if you're running the support station. You're going to get some cooldowns. That's not a terrible perk whatsoever. Battle Buddy is phenomenal. Revive a downed agent to reduce incoming damage by 50% for 10 seconds for both players. The Reviver and the Revivee. That is phenomenal because people can get stuck in some tricky, sticky situations. Now, if we're looking at critical save, that's not terrible either. Using a medkit during low-level health to increase damage resistance by 40% gives you extra tankiness. And probably the most important one, in my opinion, is combat medic. Use a medkit near allies to heal the group members and proxies within 20 meters by 40%. So if you guys communicate or you're all getting pushed really hard, one guy can pop a medkit and heal everybody in the vicinity. That's huge! It's huge, which is a med kick too. There's no cooldowns for that. No crazy amounts of time you have to wait. Med kits are easy to use. So that's what I think 
is my recommended perks. Again, there are lots of things that you can roll, lots of ways you can customize this build, but this is the way I'm doing it. Exotic damage resilience is not going to be a half bad item. At least put one or two pieces on. That's something you may not normally have. Sacrifice scavenging, it's not going to do anything for you. You're going to want to build survivability and tankiness. So this is my advice. If you have anything to add for it, please leave a comment down in the section below. Subscribe if you are new here, and I will catch you guys sometime soon out there in the dark zone. Take care.